Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Michael Ridley. Welcome back to another episode of Radio Ridley Radio. Darn tootin'. I'm going to tell you right now, brother, today's date is September 8th. It's 3.23 p.m. CST in the great town of Austin, Texas. I'm joined here with my, one of my very good friends all the way from Florida. He lives in Austin now. Very funny. Captain Wright. It's my, a, man, I want, I want to thank I want to thank you for having me on yeah, here today. Thank you, dude. I'm, I'm beaming. To thank you I'm for beaming. having me. I'm beaming, dude. <laughs> Weather's nice. The you weather. just got off work. Nice. You've been talking to customers all day. You just got off work. I You're all talking to customers and you know, getting them delivering changas and whatnot. <laughs> Sweet tea. Sweet tea. <laughs> hey, y'all, welcome to where Captain works. Can I get you guys started with something <laughs> to drink? Maybe some piss? <laughs> <laughs> I got piss or sweet tea. What you want? <laughs> what you want? That'd be crazy. Uh, I, uh, hey, guys, welcome to the restaurant that Captain works at. Can I get you guys started with uh, 12 raw eggs in a glass? <laughs> <laughs> Just for, uh, yeah, that's exactly what I want. <laughs> Actually, dude, it's like you read my mind. Wait, do you have a blender full of eggs and lizards, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, <laughs> dude can, you, can you sprinkle some alpha brain on my tacos? <laughs> Just bust open a cap- capsule. Yeah, I got a. I, I brought my own tacos from home. Do you guys have the Alpha Brain? <laughs> Dude, Alpha Brain? Yeah, I get that from my boy every night. Just a couple of alphas. <laughs> K6. Oh. Dude, you're so wise and you're sucking me off right now. Oh, dude, you're wisdom, dude. Would you go to college with that brain? <laughs> Did you get a- <laughs> it is funny how stupid people are with drink orders. The other day, yeah. someone was like, a, an adult. An adult was like, a, you guys wouldn't happen to have chocolate milk, would you? And I go, uh, no, I do not. And they go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like you just throw him for a loop. He's like, oh my, it's going to take me another 48 minutes to think of a twin quarter. <laughs> so I really, I love an enchilada with chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, he's like, well, how about this? I keep that thing on me. And by ting, I mean a bottle of chocolate syrup. <laughs> Would you happen to have normal milk? <laughs> Whole, whole is fine, and 2%. You can, you can bring the bottle. You know what? I'm feeling kind of freaky right now. Just bring me the entire bottle of milk. Bring milk. the bottle. Can I, do you guys have bottle service for milk? <laughs> it's, just a, it's, a, um, it's a grown man. <laughs> it's a grown man, but he has, like, the desires of a newborn baby. He's like, um, I may or may not have gone poo-poo in my pants. <laughs> it, uh, silver, miss, uh... <laughs> Uppies. <laughs> yeah. So I've noticed nobody is air pointing my food into my mouth right now. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know what he wants me to do. Yeah. He's like, Do you have <laughs> do you have uh, high chairs for <laughs> big boys? Yeah. <laughs> a really big high chair. Yeah, just a giant high chair. Your brain is, oh, we have normal chair. No, I will fall out of that. <laughs> yeah, I will yeah, we have bar stools. We have bar stools. <laughs> Pretty dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie, not gonna... Uh, a poof is fine. Poof and is fine. I'll have a double whiskey rocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one wench water poof. <laughs> <laughs> Ordering alcohol with that voice is so much. <laughs> I'll have a dirty martini. <laughs> that sucks. Like, yeah, those guys who have that, um, yeah. those guys that have that uh, speech impediment. I, when I was homeless, I lived in a, I lived in like a scum house. I, that's the only way I could describe it. It's like a house that was built, it was like in the deep forest, in the deep, in, deep in the forests of uh, Pocosin, Virginia. There was a home that was built in the 30s or 40s, and it had oil heat. And we lived there in the winter. And I'm gonna tell you right now, brother, oil heat costs about. It's like a giant basin mm-hmm. that you put oil in, and then that heats the home. Whoa! So that oil is so antiquated. It's such old tech, tech for warming your house. It costs way more to get that thing filled than to just put central heat and air in your house. That's insane. So yeah. we just went a whole like a whole winter in an old crickety house with no insulation, and we and um we uh, invited one of my my like homeless like you know when when you're homeless you meet random people that also do drugs that are mm-hmm. kind of like in the same like uh you guys are pretty much in the same level of the game of adulthood yeah. of like yeah i'm just a traveling drug addict right now i'm mm-hmm. just trying to get on my feet well one of these guys that i encountered his name was bryce and he had that speech impediment so funny. and i invited him to my friend's house or whatever because i knew he had zans Mm-hmm. And um, he was just talking about his Xanax, and it was in his truck. He had like a Chevy S10. He had like a '99 white Chevy S10, and um, he just kept talking about his Xanax. And he kept talking about his Xanax prescription that he had, and then um, 
we go in the house and then he's like oh one second i'm getting he had that he had that <laughs> speech impediment so his name was bryce he drove a truck bryce yeah. truck that speech impediment and xanax so guy somebody ever. stole his xanax out of the truck and he had a full-on like panic attack no. because he obviously needs them or he's yeah. just a fiend and it's really hard to lie to a doctor to get xanax you know what i mean yeah. you have to do like this you have to go through multiple you have to go through multiple um you know psychiatric evaluations you got to put yeah. on the act that you're a super anxious guy and then maybe after like three or four trial medications they'll prescribe you xanax so it's super yeah. hard to get xanax and uh bryce is like he just busts through the front door of this rickety old house he's like oh no somebody what do we stole my friggin' xanax out of my truck <laughs> i'm about to have a fucking panic attack no like why the fuck dude i need my xanax what do we i can't did somebody went in my truck and took it out it was in my glove box he was like, <laughs> having a full-on <laughs> mental glove. break Breakdowns. He's like, I'm gonna have to call the police and file a police report <laughs> so I can get my prescription we filled. This has happened before. And I'm like, yeah, because you fucking brag about having Xanax in That's front of so drug funny. addicts, you idiot. That voice is so fun. Imagine, yeah. there's so many situations. Imagine like, and bitches liked him. They were really? Like, oh, it's cute. Oh, it's cute. I'm literally fucking gonna ask. Right <laughs> yeah, I'm literally. <laughs> yeah, he was, and he was, uh, and then <laughs> he was doing his little girl. <laughs> 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 Calm down, kitten. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's got some Xanax for you. Where do we? There's so many funny. Imagine like a like both the pilots of a plane pass out, and you're having to fly a plane, and you put on the air traffic control. And the other... Uh, this is uh. <laughs> so, okay, what you what are we gonna want to do is pull that Webo in front of you, <laughs> and you're gonna want to land a plane safely. <laughs> Don't so lie. if you walk to your white, you'll see a big <laughs> wed wevel, yeah. and that big wed wevel is directly connected to the landing gear. <laughs> landing gear, and you're gonna want to release that landing gear before you land the pain. Yeah, the wives are three hundred people at your at, at yours. Look at the altimeter meter. <laughs> altimeter meter. It will tell you how high you are up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> now check the fridge, the stewardess fridge. There may be milk in there. <laughs> and if you're lucky, it's chocolate milk. <laughs> yeah, you're going to want to have a few sips of that because yeah, be I don't even work here. I just snuck in the air <laughs> to have a controller womb. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> you want to you have the milk because it might be your last milk. <laughs> <laughs> it might be your last chalky milk. <laughs> <laughs> Any last words? <laughs> That's your executioner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a fucking autistic. Co You're on death row. You like murdered three people. You're about to get like the lethal injection. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Reverend is here to have a couple words with you. He's going yeah. to play over you. Any last words? May God have mercy on your soul. Will we? What would you like for your last meal? I recommend spaghettios. <laughs> yeah. Your your last meal. What would you're... you like for your last meal? I recommend clams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's dinosaur okay. nuggets in a big cup of winch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just a get... big old cup of winch, please. Uh, I guess I'll have to winch. And what do you want to drink? Uh, I'll just drink the winch. <laughs> Dwink. Oh, that winch. was my that was my drink. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, you know what it reminds me? You ever seen that video of? Um, it's the developers of Minecraft, and they're doing a Q and A. Yes, <laughs> you know what the dedicated wham. Dedicated wham. Dedicated wham. Uh, how much dedicated wham would it take uh, for the solver? The solver. <laughs> and like, I had an autistic younger brother, so I'm like, oh yeah, he's asking how much dedicated RAM should he have for a server? Yeah, because yeah, my exactly. brother yeah. was always my brother would just build Minecraft servers, <laughs> and he would like Venmo guys like hundreds of dollars. He's like, oh yeah, so I'm building my game. He kept saying, I'm building a game. That's like I'm so Developing a game, yeah. but the reality is, is it's just a a, a a hacked ROM of RuneScape that he's just losing a shit ton of money. No, on. and he's uh. like, yeah, it's it's gonna be making money here soon. Much like so, his RuneScape server, his hacked ROM of RuneScape is a lot like my podcast, where I just keep pummeling money into it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's gonna, oh yeah, it's gonna It'll make. We're gonna get gold out of these hills pretty It'll much sometime. Yeah. <laughs> it's the R three podcast. Hey guys, do you ever think like, oh, I'm a little mischievous guy. I'm a little, I'm a little trickster. I'm a little goofy guy. I like to mess around. I like to pull little harmless pranks on people. I, I want to be funny, but I don't think I'm uh, that funny. I, I would like to, I would like to purchase something that would make me instantly the funniest guy in the room. Well, you're in luck, because my homies over at DickLasers.com have created this amazing little laser pointer that shines the shape of several wieners, and it's so funny. You can shine it on your friends. You can shine it on strangers. Nothing. 
nothing. I feel like there's nothing funnier than um, walking into a bar and you see a guy chatting up a girl and he's really rizzing her up, <laughs> and then you're just on the other side of the room, just shining the silhouette of a little wiener on his chest. She notices it, he doesn't, and he's just confidently trying to uh, secure secure the cooch. And um, uh, it's it, well, it's possible. That's possible. You can be that. You can be that little mischievous fucker out in public with. Uh, a dick laser laser pointer they're so fun um here at radio ridley radio we are proud to announce uh uh being sponsored by these guys and what i love about dick laser so much is that there are multiple cocks to choose from there are multiple wieners to choose from you got you got your standard jonathan all right you've got uh homie leaning to the left that's always fun you got a, a the semi chub is what i like to call it then we got a, a skinny boy skinny boy jones over here skinny boy jones is just you know your standard jonathan but a little bit skinnier you know for those uh for those uh pencil pencil dick boys out there we got a uh, we got the chode meister a uh, personal favorite of mine looks just like my penis by the way and um we got the front facing flaccid, which is always fun to uh, shine on somebody's garage <laughs> while they're, you know, out in public. Guys, go over to dicklasers.com. Use promo code SWEATY for 10% off at checkout. And uh, that's how you'll know. That's, how the, that's a, an amazing way to support us over here at R3 is go to dicklasers.com. Go and get you one of these dick laser pointers and make sure you use promo code SWEATY for 10% off at checkout. We love you. You're listening to the R3 Podcast. That's funny. Did you ever play RuneScape? No, I played World of Warcraft for a second. Uh, yeah, I for like World a split second, and I was yeah. like, eh. I played World of Warcraft. Oh, I played WoW when uh, they were giving out those free 14 day trial cards. Mm -hmm. Dude, and I just got to like level 36 in two weeks and was like, all right, I'm done. So yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah, like the like, like, fact that like I went that deep in it. People spend years and years and years. I've had a buddy who's been playing for like 20 years. That's crazy. Yeah, my Mexican buddy, he plays it. He's been playing it for. Freaking love this game. Shit, bro. I'm a freaking warlock. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I might just be a freaking cook, but in there, I'm a freaking warlock, man. <laughs> <laughs> See, out here, I'm like a retarded piece of shit. <laughs> but like in there. I'm a beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dark elf with some big old tetas. <laughs> and I got some big ass <laughs> tetas on WoW. I got a hostman and keys and everything. We meet up on Fridays and we play house. In the computer, I'm in love. <laughs> I'm in love in the computer. Out here, man, I'm a three-time felon. In there, I'm the mayor of a small town. <laughs> I'm a beloved. I'm a beloved mayor of a small be town. Beloved. We got a little community, you know. Hey, bro, hop on. Hey, fuck. Hey, fucker, hop on Discord, fucker. <laughs> oh. Hey, fucker. Hey, we're gonna have to ban Sleepy, All bro. He's he's talking crazy yeah. in the Discord, man. You gotta ban Sleepy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he been talking a lot of crazy shit, man. He been talking shit about La Raza in the <laughs> Discord, bro. We gonna have to fucking at least put like some kind of suspension. I think a two week suspension is due. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Where man. are my mods at? Yeah, this motherfucker, man. He was like chatting up the miners in the Discord, bro. <laughs> That's not a good look for our clan, <laughs> way. Oh man, no, my fucking my nephews in here, man. We gotta <laughs> my fucking nephews it's in my here, bro. Nephew, my fucking nephew, <laughs> man. He's in here, bro. Get sleepy, bro. He's talking, to <laughs> bro. Sleepy's in there. He's really. <laughs> Sleepy, more like creepy, man. He's talking all the kids in the Discord, talking about, like, so how old are you and shit? And, like, what school you go to? Bro, it's not a good look, man. <laughs> nah, bro. Basically. Meanwhile, he's just, like, in a room by himself talking. Yeah. He's not, he's not even yeah. talking. He's just fucking going full schizo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Mexican, Mexican wow is crazy. <laughs> Mexican wow, I'm Mexican wow, Mexican Discord mods. Yeah, fucking like fucking Vato, Vato's on the hey, Discord. Damn, sorry, man, I gotta freaking ban you. <laughs> You're banned. I turn your camera on. <laughs> hey, bro, bro, we need age verification. Yeah, bro. we got people in here that are like 12 years old posing this as 22 year olds, man. Somebody's a, gonna get caught. This up, is a bro. freaking fake ID, man. <laughs> It's time to do a raid for real. Yeah, yeah. bro. We got a raid. We got bro, we gotta clean up the Discord. Necesita yeah. limpia la pinche Discord, man. It's shit dirty, man. Got some creepers in here. <laughs> got some sleeper creepers, man. They're in the dirt. They're they're like worms, bro. You gotta pluck them. <laughs> pluck them out the dirt, man. <laughs> you gotta man, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Man, y'all keep fucking around. I'm going back to Overwatch, man. <laughs> y'all keep fucking around, bro. Okay, I'm gonna get off tonight, guys. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm not, bro. I can't play Call of Duty no more. That shit is crack, bro. That shit don't work, bro. <laughs> Too many hackers. Bro, I can't keep up with the meta, man. Like the <laughs> guns. Every time he's updating a new gun, everybody's running the gun. I don't know the gun. I don't know what IGN video to watch. <laughs> to what is the current meta in Warzone? Every time bro. I play Warzone, there's too many freaking hackers. Yeah, bro. I don't want to play Warzone. I live in a fucking barrio, dude. Yeah. I, I, I play Warzone every day. Yeah. It's called going outside. Go, wait. <laughs> drop in every day. See, it's a fucking war zone afuera, man. You got these fuckers down the street talking about, I'm going to fucking in your fucking, you know. And I just, you know, I get fucking nervous, bro. Like, I'm fighting for my life, you know. Peleando para mi vida aquí, man. I'm fucking, shit, bro. But yeah, I got to clock in. I got to shift at Best Buy later and shit. Fucking geek squad. Would you like a computer? <laughs> A camera, yeah, this one's good, bro. So, yeah, like you <laughs> buy a Mex Mexican employee, bought a Best Buy, <laughs> trying to buy a computer. Yeah, <laughs> this one's got Discord. <laughs> Shit, bro, you like the RGB, bro? Look at the colors, bro. <laughs> Está bonito, man. Look, you press this button now, it's purple. <laughs> it's purple. Look, it's like orbing, it's purple, strobe effect, and shit, bro. blue, yeah, man. Yellow, like Goku, Super hey, Saiyan. Hey, yeah. hey, bro, do you know where the anime titty mouse pads? Oh, shit, wait, I know what you're talking yeah. about, fool. Okay, bro, chismoso. Okay, yeah. I see you, bro. Yeah, I got mine on Amazon, fool. We ain't got no shit like that in here, fool. Corporate won't let us have that shit, fool. <laughs> believe me, bro. I been, believe. I believe that, bro. I've been champing in for the fucking anime titty mouse pads. <laughs> Just Naruto with some big tetas, man. Some fucking big tetas. <laughs> <laughs> what an insane character <laughs> Just what a, a fucking Just a weeaboo Vato that yeah. Gaming nerd that works at Best Buy Yeah Shit bro <laughs> Guillermo on that shit bro Guillermo's gooning bro I seen him in the bathroom bro I heard in the yeah. bathroom, bro, he was going to work, man. Trabajando con el pene, man. Yeah. He's jorking la verga, man. <laughs> jorking la verga. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty, bro. I can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, dude. We're what 20 insane. minutes in. I'm what already fucking insane. crying. Yeah, yeah, this is a character I can't even comprehend. <laughs> you can't even do it. It's like, I can't even do it. It's like so far. We've already, his whole life is figured out. Yeah, like, yeah. No more, <laughs> we did his whole character his work. work. Yeah, his work. What, a, what does he drive? <laughs> what does he drive? <laughs> what does he drive? What does he drive? <laughs> oh, God. Here, Captain, you build this car, dude. Oh, but it's you're, a, you're a huge car guy compared to me. I'm nothing. I don't know shit about cars compared to you, dude. You're a big car guy. Go for it. What well, does it has he drive? to be a Honda. It's for sure a Honda. <laughs> Hondita. 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 <laughs> Yeah, man, look at the floor mats, man. No. Fucking Goku floor mats. <laughs> Goku floor mats. <laughs> no, so I'm saving up to get Goku airbrush on the side. <laughs> on the yeah. side of the car with huge tits. Yeah, Goku with a large tit. <laughs> <Goku, Goku with laughs> everything's got big tits. <laughs> I made no engine upgrades, but I put a big spoiler on it. Big spoiler and a Kamehameha down the side. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Cause I got the fusion in the back window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She ain't, bro. I'm sure that's a real guy somewhere. Oh, for sure. For sure. Somewhere in, like, Central Cali, for yeah. sure, Southern California, there's a yeah. fucking super Vato anime nerd. Works at Best Buy. He's got airbrushed <laughs> Goku on the guy side. Stop, guy, stop sending memes in general. <laughs> <laughs> stop sending memes in general. There's a different chat for that. <laughs> yeah, you guys got to use the memes chat in the <laughs> Discord, bro. Yeah. I'm going to have to, you know, administer some kind of ban if you don't know, hear <laughs> if you know, adhere to the rules, man. I'm going to... Hit you with the band hammer, we. He lost a lot of money on GameStop. Uh, fuck, bro. Don't even bring yeah. that shit up, man. My Robin Hood app, man. I got banned from Robin Hood, bro. Wait. <laughs> I forgot my fucking login, bro. My she. Bro, I don't even fuck with GameStop like that anymore. All they tell is Funko Pops. Yeah, I go in that bitch's fucking, you know, fucking Bulma, big eyes and shit. <laughs> the Bulma with the big eyes staring at my soul and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's dude. Yeah. My yeah, my Mexican stepdad used to do that. Like when um he'd be like, he, he'd have a level, and a pencil, mm -hmm. like a like a carpenter's or a, you know construction pencil, and then a level, and he'd be like, Nino, mira, como así, como así, 
<laughs> you, like make the sound effects with the pencil. I'm like, all right. We have a we have a dishwasher who makes bird noises all the time. He loves the bird noise. Oh, dude, my stepdad used to do yeah. the bird noise. They, dude, like, they love making bird noise. They're good, dude. It's like yeah. really good. Yeah, he'll be, he'll be back there like washing dishes, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they love doing like the little Tweety Bird sound. Yeah. yeah, that was the first thing. Like when I first met my stepdad, when my mom first started dating my stepdad, he. Uh, I remember us all sitting on the couch, and he would just be like. I can't do it like him, but he would fucking his lips, lo- his mouth looked shut. Yeah, and he would be doing the bird tweeting. He'd just be like, so funny trolling us. He'd be like, yeah, you know. And that's when yeah. he, that was before, like when him and uh, when him and my mom were like just starting dating. He was like real nice to us and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then once they got married and like lock sealed the deal, it was like, all right, it's time to start doing coke and hitting them. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right, cool. Now I can just be myself. Now I can be myself. What are we? Starts talking like that. Yeah, yeah. Tough guy that has the, the speech impediment is funny. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. literally going to beat your freaking ass right now. <laughs> you on thin ice, fucko. Get your freaking hands off the girl. <laughs> Put her down. Oh, man. My stomach hurts still. What if these two characters met? <laughs> I need a f- here. You be the guy. He's looking for. He's looking. He walks into Best Buy, and he's uh, he's trying to buy a computer. Yeah. And then you're explaining like what you need the computer to do, and I'm trying to sell you on what you need. Okay, you're trying to upsell me. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll try to upsell you. I'm trying. To- uh, oh, here, here, here. Wait, we mean tough guy or normal? One? You're tough. You're the tough guy. Okay, cool. Tough guy. Tough, guy. tough autistic guy yeah. buying a computer from Vato Edgar that works at Best, Best Buy. The Best Buy. All right. Hey, man. Hey, what's up, bro? My name is Guillermo. Welcome <laughs> to Best Buy computer section, bro. I like. You. I'm trying to build a massive computer that is not for child porn. Oh, that's kind of weird that you bring that part up, bro. Nobody really asks anything about you know, you know. But. <laughs> Bro, that's kind of weird, bro. Just, I want I want it to light up. Oh, yeah. what? I want it to light up. With I'm color. sorry, bro. I like the colors. I want the colors, different colors to change. Uh, and it will not be for child porn. Can you run that back? <laughs> hey, bro, can you like run that shit back? I don't understand your accent. Wait. I want it to be different colors in the computer. I want it to change and there'll be a window. Hey, man. One second, bro. Can I get can I get somebody down here on the sales floor with me? This guy he talking about kawas or some shit, bro. I don't understand his accent. I need some help, man. Run that back for me a little bit. I would like to build a supercomputer. Oh yeah, do you want a computer way? A okay, computer cool, that man. is not used for child porn at all. I don't know why you keep bringing up that minor detail, bro. That you get a minor <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same page. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro. I'm glad we're on the same page. Yeah, bro. I'm like, I'm like eighteen dollars away from hitting my commission sales goal, so you know. Because I was ready to kick some freaking ass. Oh uh, yeah. So what are you gonna be doing with this computer wing? I'm going to be working at the lights. That come out of it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what you want it for? Like, what, you gaming? I want to be playing video games, but mostly staying far away from child porn. The whole fucking thing is like him just kind of Freudian slipping that he's yeah. definitely going to be looking at CP with it. He's like digging his toe in the fucking yeah. carpet looking down. Like, mm. I'm going to be staying far away from child porn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She, bro, like, I don't know, like... I got a Discord I can invite you to. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm in. I'm looking for a seven-foot surfboard that I can surf the dark web with. <laughs> yeah. I just want to go into the darkest, deepest uh, parts of the Now, internet. listen, I know you're trying to surf. <laughs> can you sell me a computer that can go on the dark web? <laughs> <laughs> well, she, bro, how much uh, dedicated RAM you need? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go to the scary parts of the dark web. Yo. Yeah, I've my... never been on the dark web. I haven't either. I heard about the Silk Road. You could. I remember, like back in 08, everybody was talking about. Yeah, I got a, I got a, I got a browser with Tor on it. We can buy acid. I bought acid off the Silk Road. Yeah, yeah. We're going up. We're going to Ryan's house. We're going. To, we had a boy named Renock. Rest in peace, Renock. He died from here. No, Renock. Renock. Drink one. Yep, sip one for Renock. Renock. I'm sorry that you're not here. You would have loved vapes. Oh. Renock would have loved vapes. He'd yeah. have every flavor. He'd have the he would uh, Renock Ryan. Rest in peace, Ryan Hudson. I, I still think about you sometimes, even though, dude, it's so funny. Like, uh, so my when my mom passed away, Renock's uncle had passed away from heroin overdose, and like, uh, he was like in hysterics and drunk as shit, crying. And I was like, 
trying to console him. I was like, hey, man, I just lost my mom a week ago, so I know what it feels like to lose somebody close to you, brother. I'm really sorry about that. And then before I can finish the sentence, he goes, I don't give a fuck about your mom. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about your fucking mom. My uncle died. <laughs> my uncle. You don't understand the relationship we had. He taught me how to do heroin. <laughs> <laughs> Actual, actually happened to me. And then and then Renock died from heroin. And oh, I was like, no. you shouldn't have screamed at me when I was talking now, about now my mom dying. Unk. You can be with Unk. You can be with Unk. Yeah. Now you're. I hope you guys are both doing heroin up in there. <laughs> <laughs> in the big alley in the sky, that, dude. That, that big golden syringe. <laughs> yeah. That big golden syringe. He'd be. He's laughing at this right now. I can feel Renock. <laughs> Renock, hold on. A moment of silence for Renock. He's with us. You would have loved vapes, Renock. <laughs> Renock, you would have loved vapes. I think about you a lot. Yeah, uh, it was funny, dude. Uh, Renock, fucking, uh, he was like, he'd be like, he'd be like, you know, you shouldn't, uh, Michael, Maiku, Maiku. This he used to call me Maiku all the time. <laughs> he'd just be high, he'd be like, Maiku, you shouldn't smoke weed on Adderall, Maiku. <laughs> you're burning scary. holes. You're burning holes in your brain. You're burning holes. You're burning holes in your brain. <laughs> he looks so like freaky. Imagine Eminem with a big Jew nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Renock looked like. He'd be like, you shouldn't, don't, don't, don't smoke, don't smoke the mids on Adderall. You're burning holes in your brain. I know it. I do it every day. I can feel them. I can feel it in my head. And you can feel it in yours. I know you can. <laughs> Dude, do shit like that to me when I was high. He'd like try to scare me. Yeah, I try to freak he you out. Successfully get me. And then um, it's funny. he'd be like, I'll show you. You want to learn something, Maiku? You want to get high, but we don't have any weed? Give me your bowl. And then he like. <laughs> Then you'd take a paper clip out and you'd clean the bowl out and get all the resin. He's like, look at that precious, look at all that precious resin. Look at all that. And watch this. And he takes it and he'd be like, roly, 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 poly, roly, 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 poly. Make a little resin ball. There you go. Watch. I'll go first. I'll go first. He just roasts this big ass ball of hand resin, nasty hand palm oh. hat. Oh, dude, it was disgusting. But we got high as shit. Nice. Yeah, but we got so high, dude. Sounded like a good friend. Yeah, Renock, like yeah a Ryan good was friend. a good Ryan was a good friend. His um he was just a rich he was just a rich kid that just yeah. fucking had a lot of unsolved trauma and he, he did a lot of pain pills and heroin and yeah. he just loved drugs. He was so good at them. Yeah, there's always he I taught had a buddy me so much. That was like that. Huh? I think he's doing he's doing better now. I don't know what he's doing now, but he was like comes from money, but the, the, so, still something's just wrong. Broken. Yeah. Yeah. I remember we were in like a Panera Bread once and he <laughs> ate a bunch of Xanax <laughs> and Panera Bread. <laughs> like we're Sand just like, out. we're just trying to like skate and like like skate around town and like do like find spots and stuff. Yeah. And we just see him just like take out like a napkin and unfold it. And there's Xanax inside. And he eats it with like a lemonade. No. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. At the Panera, yeah. <laughs> and then he made like one of his. He had a couple Instagram accounts. He made one of them. I pop Sands and Panera Bread. <laughs> <laughs> I pop. Z- is it still active? I don't think so. I pop Zans at Panera Bread. At Panera it's Bread. Crazy. <laughs> it was really. It was really funny. He made his handle that after he did it. It's crazy. Crazy thing to brag about. Yeah, sick thing to brag about. Yeah. In eighth grade, that's the coolest thing you can do. Yeah, I was in uh, tenth grade. I was doing Xanax in tenth grade a lot. I had this girl nice. in my health class. She used to give me head scratches, and she was thick. Whoa. Dude. She was some thick white girl cheerleader oh, dude, in my don't health even class. S- you're making me all fucking horny. I know, dude. She was great, Ashley. Ashley, I remember you. I don't know what happened. Maybe in a different life, you know. But I'm I was too autistic to pick up that she, because I was like just a completely like a uh, social opposite of her mm-hmm. and she was like my mom has xanax do you want me to bring you some and i was like yeah i would actually lo- that would be super chill actually no, that would actually fucking that would, <laughs> <laughs> that would fuck if you brought me xanax <laughs> oh i literally i would i would literally lose my shit somebody stole my xanax out of my talk actually i would really appreciate that Wait, that would fucking kick ass <laughs> That'd fucking kick ass if you brought me some. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, I can bring you some tomorrow. There's like a girl like on top of you, like scratching your head. I can yeah. give you whatever you want. No, that would fucking rip. Yeah, you're getting you head scratches. Yeah. Just, fucking, <laughs> just ASMR tingles while you're fucking getting yeah. fed Zannies. I was a king, man. She's like popping. She's plopping Xanax in my mouth like an emperor eating grapes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a, yeah. Oh, that's so just, cool. <laughs> 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 I can't feel below my neck. <laughs> yeah, but I also almost died. I fucking ate like eight blue footballs in a fucking shit, Jesus and I almost Christ. died. Yeah, I almost died. And my buddy like gave me a like a stern talking to because it was the shed where 
you know, the redneck parents go back in that shed with you and smoke in that shed. Yeah. They're like, man, we can't have no fucking kids ODing on Xanax. Yeah. This is a safe... This is, this is a proper drug this, shed. This, yeah. <laughs> this is a classy drug shed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can't have no... We yeah. can't have no goddamn Chinese folks yeah. with no Xanax. Ain't a good look for us. What, you, what, what the fuck it look like? You got four rednecks in the shed and you got a Chinese fella turned up dead. <laughs> what uh, would the Johnsons like, think? What are we supposed to yeah. do, man? What they, are we... The Johnsons got a classy drug shed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they just smoke crack in it. You know? Yeah. They rent it out. One guy just yeah. in there going crazy, just roasting rocks in wee hours of the night. You can smell it. I can smell burnt plastic all up and down the street. And they're dude. having a blast. Yeah, they're keeping it safe, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've never done Xanax. Oh, it's fucking incredible. The closest I come is I accidentally ate, like, way, way, way too much melatonin. I was in a lot of pain, and I was like, I want to go to bed now. I want to fall asleep right now, so I, like... Fucking seven of the gummies, and it was just like really scary. It was like really fucking scary. I've done that. I've done that. Yeah, I just eat the melatonin gummies because they taste good, and then I'm like, they oh, taste pretty they good, taste pretty good. The purple ones. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I I legit ate seven, and like, <laughs> it was like you fall you fall asleep like someone hits you really hard, and then you're having like really fucking scary <laughs> dreams for like it feels like 26 hours. <laughs> you're having like really scary. you wake up and it's like first thing in the morning, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It's really like you. I had a dream where I went through my entire day. <laughs> like, I just did my day. Like, I did all the chores I had to do. I like sent emails I had to send. And I woke up and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then I, uh, then I opened my door and all my roommates were out there and I started hanging out with them. And then I woke up again and I was like, what the fuck? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. You're just in, uh, just a, uh, you're a just, time loop. Yeah. You're, you're in melatoninception. Yeah. <laughs> it's exact, in, yeah. You're in inception. <laughs> but it's melatonin. <laughs> yeah. It's it was like really scary. Leonardo DiCaprio's like grabbing your shoulders. He's like, we have to wake up. Yeah. <laughs> Captain, you have to wake up. Captain, yeah. we're running out of time. I don't know if Xanax is comparable, but it was really scary. Yeah. You not fucking, want to do anything fucking, like that. <laughs> It's like that last scene from Inception, but it's just a captain spinning a Beyblade. <laughs> the Beyblade never stops spinning. I've been here. That's your. That's I've done your. This that's your totem. Your totem yeah, that keeps you grounded is a Beyblade. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, if I'm dreaming, I'll always roll a seven. No, if I'm dreaming, I always roll a four, three. Right. Or was it three? I can't remember. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. Inception was funny as fuck, dude. I love that. It was like, crazy. It was when I wa- <laughs> when I watched that movie, I love. I remember leaving the theater as a kid, and I just saw two white guys who just thought they totally understood the plot, <laughs> <laughs> like going and like the top at the end spinning. Yeah, so like you never know if he's actually like awake. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I just remember like being a kid seeing two stoked white dudes in their twenties leaving the theater, like yeah. yeah, and like the top was still spinning. Yeah. I'm like, dude, shut up. You they guys are, like, just got into idiots. movies. Yeah, yeah that's just, really funny. Was it the first movie you have ever watched? Yeah. Dude, it's the first. Or do that with like a really simple movie that's easy to understand. It's well, like, like no, kids actually, movie? in Saw, they're the bad guys, and he's trapping them for a reason. <laughs> Or a kids movie would be even funnier. Yeah, a kids yeah. movie would be even funnier. <laughs> You're like leaving Shrek, and it's yeah. like it's crazy because like he was such like a shut in, yeah. but then by the end of the movie, he's got like friends and people that love him because he like opens up and he allows people <laughs> in, you know. And that's like kind of like uh, that that speaks to the human experience yeah. to, a, to a certain degree. But it's an animated ogre in medieval times. Yeah. <laughs> he he was a Lego character, and his life was all planned out. He was happy with just being a simple man, but then he found like a secret Lego life. Yeah. And he became a master builder. Yeah, and then at one point everything was just awesome. Yeah. Everything was cool. What does that that was a great go? movie. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when, when you're, you're part of a team. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sex playlist. Yeah. Yeah, and then like he was like part of a team, you know? He was and it's part like, of a team and then you know? Batman was there. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Will Arnett as Batman. Yeah. Fucking dude, who casted this thing? Yeah. Masterpiece. The guys at Rotten Tomatoes are just fucking retarded. <laughs> Like a good movie, and they're like, I didn't like it. I <laughs> just fucking hated it. This movie fucks. Yeah, like a movie. This this fucks. Coming hard. out with a. I don't know if this is real, but like I keep seeing it all over Pharrell's Instagram. Yeah, I'm from Virginia, Pharrell is gonna be in a fucking Lego movie. Hey Pharrell, stop being fucking weird, man. He made his biopic just just in Lego. He's a Lego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not even stop motion though. It's like. I know Lego movie was stop motion, but it was made to look like it was stop motion. It did a good job. Yeah, I thought it was real forever. It did a good job. Well, but if you can, you can make a 
digital movie, you just lower the frames and it looks like stop motion. Yeah. I think that's what they did. Yeah. But also they made it look like it was like Legos. This one is just like cartoon. Yeah, it's like cartoon. Star Wars. Lego it Star looks Wars. like Lego Star Wars cutscene. Lego Star Wars cutscene. I was like, what planet is this? Dagobah. <laughs> it's Virginia Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Pharrell, he's like uh, making a Lego movie or some shit. I'm in a Lego movie. Yeah. Come on now, I'm in a Lego movie yeah. and I'm gay. Yeah. He did, I don't know, dude. He fucking like posed on a. I don't know. I used to claim Pharrell because, you know, Virginia and shit. He's a huge piece of like Virginia history and music and shit. But he did like a cover uh, on a magazine where he's wearing a giant dress that's made out of. Puffy jacket, and I was like, "That is gay." That's so. pretty gay. Yeah. <laughs> it's the gay because shit. Because I'm gay. <laughs> because I'm gay. Spread my butthole. Let him buzz. Oh, it's called piece by piece. Piece by piece. Uh, type in the Pharrell. Um, all right, guys, is this gay or not? Welcome. It's one of my favorite, uh, you know, segments we have on the show. Is this gay? Pharrell uh, uh, magazine cover. Oh, Pharrell magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that, it was I don't like it by the Lego account on YouTube. That's kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, oh, there it is. The segment. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, guys, uh, it's a fav- uh, one of my favorite uh, segments on Radio Ridley Radio. We do this all the time. It's definitely not the first time we've done it. Uh, is this gay? Yeah, that's really that's gay. super gay. Actually, <laughs> all right, cool gay. guys. Thank you for another uh, another episode of Is This Gay? That's gay as shit. I know he's butt ass naked. Oh, <laughs> there, dude, he's got to be. Just say the new masculinity. The new masculinity. Yeah, GQ, gay queer. I don't know if you know what GQ stands <laughs> for, but it's just gay queer. An explanation of what? The butthole. <laughs> An expl- exploration. Exploration of your sexuality. <laughs> I know he's butt ass naked under that yeah, thing. It's I, just cheeks. That's weird. It's raw cheeks. Because all the other magazine, they're like fine. Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah. It's like normal, and this one was like, hold up. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's when you're in that upper echelon of fashion and shit for so long, you just kind of become yeah. gay. Oh, he's, it, he's got that, the one on the left there, he's got that He's got that mumbo number five fit on. One, he said, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I'm for real, and I like to fuck guys. <laughs> Wrap my lips around a penis tip. <laughs> but yeah, that's a uh, yeah. You know, Pharrell was cool. I loved Pharrell like in the early two thousands. Yeah, and Nerd right. and fucking uh, when he was doing songs with Clips, and then um, he, there was a resurgence of um, till the casket drops. That was by the Clips. It came out in two thousand eight, and Pharrell was on there, and he, he did a song "I'm Good" with a uh, push a T, and that shit. I'm fucking, good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Order what you like, girl. Tell me what you see. But now it's all like, yo, let me put this big old dress on. I'm going to put a giant dress on. I'm going to put a giant dress I'm going to fall to the satanic agenda of the media and the fashion industry. I'm so convinced that's like some satanic shit. I see, yeah, I see some on, uh... I think fashion is Did you see the one, the Super Bowl one that was kind of fun? Oh, what? The, uh... And then, I don't The Ice Spice at the Super Bowl, she's like... And she's like wearing all like the... Red. Everyone was like... Everyone, she's Satan. Oh yeah. Well, it's like it's, it's so very obvious that it's like, like Sam Smith is just a fat evil gay guy now. Who's Sam Smith? Sam Smith. Sam. What was his name? Is it Sam Smith? Mm-hmm. Oh, I know that song. I'm fucking huh? random nudes. Oh, is he a fat evil gay guy now? <clears throat> yeah. Devil. He is. He's unholy. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, same reaction. <laughs> like, fucking, ew, I don't like that. that was, oh, my God. Welcome to another episode of... <laughs> Here's the thing. If a, if a metal band did that, I'd be like, sick. Yeah, it's just guar. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If a metal band did it, like, okay, that's cool. Yeah. That's metal. But it's this, funny. if that song and that... Yeah. Women and women, they succumb to this. Women's, women, this. women love, they buy... Women, women buy love this. evil. Women buy this shit. <laughs> Women, women buy. They buy this. Well, you all know, all this. They who buy bit this. the apple first. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They they fell to temptation. It's in the Bible. Like, hey, uh, women fall to temptation easier than yeah. men. Mm-hmm. They get wrapped up. Ladies, they like. Yeah, women love. Like, oh, it's evil. It's gay. Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know what has happened. I I feel bad for the modern woman. Like, I'm grateful. Like, I'm grateful. Like, my wife is a. Uh, you know, she was on the. She was like, oh, I mean, I was, a, she, she, my wife is a feminist, but in the sense of like, 
If you're a mother, hell yeah. If you're yeah. fucking an independent woman that doesn't want to have kids, hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. She's like in that sense of like what a actual, like I care about, you know, the well-being of women. And the, it's not like I want to get over on men, like this new thing where it's like, oh, I, let's dismantle the family unit. Let's dismantle the nuclear family. And now you just have a bunch of mentally ill people being raised by mentally ill women yeah. that don't have like a dad who just goes, hey, chill. I got this. I make ninety thousand dollars a year. And, yeah. uh, you know, we're going on vacation this summer. You know, there's just yeah. none of that. They're like that shit is like I. I think a good dad is important because I. I grew up with fucking. You know, I had a fucking really fucked up childhood, so I understand like, the importance of, the 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 the, the nuclear family and shit, yeah, bro. For sure. Like it's and it's only gonna get worse if you multiply my experience. I wouldn't. I wouldn't wish my childhood on people, but now they're mass producing, the divorced kid, yeah. drug, drugs, fucking clothes. Yeah, for sure. I just want fancy clothes. I want to do drugs, and I don't give a fuck about school. Like that blows my mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In interesting. Yeah. <laughs> well, here is my take on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know my father. He died when I was young. He yeah. overdosed on uh he overdosed on heroin and now he's in heaven with his uncle. <laughs> he is with his uncle right now. Um, my name is Weenock Jr. <laughs> yeah, that's gay. Take that off the screen, man. Get that yeah, out of here. Yeah, this is Get pretty that, that was pretty man, gay. Yeah, man, y'all white boys always on that gay shit. Man. That was some white people shit right there. I'm white. not I ain't gonna hold you on that one. That's some white people shit. Yeah, that's yeah. Is that white people shit? Yes it is. Yeah, that's white people shit. Man, that shit white people. It's crazy the singer of that song made that. What? Yeah. <laughs> and he like performed it at like the Grammys or something like that. Like, some... Oh, yeah, that was at the Grammys. You yeah, just like that? Yeah, the Grammys, oh, the Golden I Globes. Think I remember it was something seeing like that. the Academy Awards. I the think Academy. I remember seeing all that stuff is evil. The the the, the, uh, the Olympics, everything, everything that's like yeah. Looking... The Olympic opening ceremony was weird. Even if it wasn't evil, it was like still like why would you fucking make that? That's like just weird. Yeah, and then the Balenciaga. Do you remember the Balenciaga thing with the kids? There was like a Balenciaga. There was like it. a there was like a Balenciaga thing where they were like, "Oh no, they're targeting kids." It's like uh, there was like some pedophilic subtext it, to a Balenciaga yeah. ad. Oh. You zoom in on some of the papers or the newspapers <laughs> or something. You zoom in yeah. on the finer details of this photo shoot with like kids, and they're wearing like sultry, weird shit, like uh, uh, seductive clothing or inappropriate clothing. Wasn't like yeah. BDSM stuff. BDSM. I remember, yeah, they were putting kids in BDSM, like leather. Like leather I remember and shit. that, and then I remember seeing what the they responded with. Uh, what was it? It was a, um, I don't know. What was the company that did that? Balenciaga. Balenciaga. Yeah, they were like, oh, that was the photographer. Like the, it was just like a weird, creepy photographer. I'm like, but you guys still, you guys vetted him. You guys yeah. hired him. I completely remember. They're like, yeah, that was a weird photographer. We got rid of him. That's like if NASA was like, yeah, we just had a wacky oh, scientist yeah, were... that loved to put like dynamite <laughs> yeah. inside the rocket. Sorry, all those people died. We just hired a wacky guy. <laughs> yeah. like, you're like partially responsible for that. Still. Yeah, you're like, yeah. They were wearing uh, bondage harnesses. Yeah, that was That's mad weird. So yeah, weird. teddy yeah, bears like and toddlers too. Yeah, that's toddlers like... with teddy bears in bondage. Yeah, yeah that's really fucking. Oh, weird. so they weren't wearing them, but the teddy bears were. Wearing oh, I guess that's yeah, like spreading. That's about like about yeah, that's like not. It's still pretty bad, but still not as bad. That's but not still, as so, bad. That's a tiny child. Yeah. It's just like that stuff. Still like, horrible. I didn't see that stuff until I was like eleven or twelve, and I went to Spencer's Gifts. Do you remember those teddy bears from Spencer's yeah. Gifts? Type in those Spencer Gifts bondage teddy bears. Do you remember these? I always talk about nostalgia with you, Captain, when I have you on the show. And I want to see if we're going to talk about the mall. Let's talk about I them don't all. remember. Oh, uh, yeah. Mall, dude, I've been banned from three malls in Orlando. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah dude. Just for being fuck cool. Yeah. I went to the mall uh, last week and I bought my wife all the gifts for her birthday in uh -huh. one go. And I was yeah. like, dude, the mall rips. The mall's awesome. The mall rips. Oh, I've never seen that before. You never seen these? They still like, sell that? That's kind of uh, funny. That's pretty funny. More of the keychain. That more says the vintage. More of the keychain. Yeah, BDSM teddy bear keychain. They used to sell those. And I would go, ew, what's that? Why is it? Why can't it close its ew. mouth? Ew, why is it in jail? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, and I remember one. It had a thong on. Oh, that's pretty hot. It had a thong on, but the hole was cut out and it had a little bear penis. I remember the bear you had a little wiener. And <laughs> I was like, oh, look, it has a wiener. You know how like there's haunted dolls like Annabelle and like Robert the doll? <laughs> yeah. Imagine one that, of those. That's what you haunt. Yeah. <laughs> it's like demonically possessed. Look at that one. It's got a t-shirt. Look at that one in the uh, middle all the way to the right. The uh yep. second row all the way to the right. 
Yeah. We, you know. oh, cool. Yeah, that, imagine, that's a cool teddy bear. Imagine like you go to like a haunted museum where like a bunch of really haunted shit and like this is the most haunted doll in the world. And you open a door. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> anal? Yeah. This and you're do- like, it's not haunted. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, you're getting <laughs> fucking you're getting fucked, fucked, fucked by a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh look, there's like a penis, too, like penis a, pillow from a Spencer's. Penis. Oh, I love, I love how immature and nasty Spencer's is, man. It's so fucking nasty. It is funny. I remember I, I was kicked out of so many Spencers, being like twelve and just giggling in the back, and they're like, "All right, come all on, right, you guys aren't supposed to be back here." All right, all right, yeah. Hey, get your hands off those dildos. Get a look at them. Get yeah, the fact that it's just they don't even have the oh, beaded curtains. Oh, Christmas ornament. Um, my buddy, I think it was like for his seventeenth or eighteenth birthday. Yeah. Where he was having a big thing at his house, and I went there to get uh, a flashlight for him as a gift. It was a Super Sucker 2000. I remember. I remember the model. The old Super Sucker 2000. <laughs> and I went to Spencer's to get it. I'm like, this, this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be a hoot. Him getting this, and I'm buying it. You know, I'm trying to hide it while buying it. I don't mm-hmm. want people, there's people in Spencer's. I don't want to see. I'm buying a Super Sucker. <laughs> yeah. And Lady Rings. It's up. a hard place to buy a fucking. <laughs> you're like you. You leave the Spencer's. You're like leaving the Spencer's with like a fucking two and a half foot long fucking girthy yeah, dildo just like like hanging out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> you have a bag that can conceal it. There. Well, she. It's like a box is big, and she rings it up, and I don't think she was trying to fuck me because it was like an older lady. She looks at me and she goes, "Would you like a bag for this?" Yeah. I was like, I'm about to walk through the mall. Yeah, yes. with a super sucker. Yeah, the, please. Looking like a straight up gooner out. Yeah, in that's public. a super sucker. There it is. That's it. The super sucker. And it was a big. We all were staying at my friend's oh. house. There was like ten of us. It went missing that night, <laughs> <laughs> and we never saw it again. We never saw. Yeah. We named her Jessica. It's in a shoebox in the woods somewhere <laughs> in fucking <laughs> Central Florida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we never, we never saw the super Passed sucker down from that's generations. Just, this is really. I gotta take a picture of this for my friends. <laughs> you gonna snap one yeah. of the super sucker? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. So it's in a it's in a van's shoebox somewhere in the woods in Central Florida, <laughs> and there's like a group of kids that it just gets passed down from yeah. generation, like some goony shit. They're like, all right, guys. There's a little homunculus living inside. <laughs> <laughs> homunculus living. In- <laughs> oh yeah, sometimes those. You just yeah. gotta kill it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes there's a homunculus inside the community <laughs> flashlight. We just have to kill it. Is that a review on YouTube? Oh, I thought that was a review on Dude, YouTube. Dude, Doc Johnson. I had the mouth. I went to <laughs> I went to Spencer's. I bought the mouth. Type in Doc Johnson mouth. This is so funny. Yeah, it's just super lips. Sucker. It was just a pocket pussy. It's just like it's just this. Yeah, <laughs> it's just it's just literally just. I remember doing a, when I first started. I was opening for this guy named Jersey a lot, and there's a hey, show. Like, down, this, I saw it. This big vape store. Sex. Right there. That thing is so <laughs> sick, dude. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Why is uh, the lip like that? It's this. It's the. Oh, that's so some, sick. That nose kind of gets thing. me off a little bit. Yeah. Um, but we're there's like this crazy sex store they did a show in, and me and this like. This like fifty five year old black guy at Jersey are walking around the sex store together and we're like giggling like little girls. Like he finds this huge like fist dildo. And he's got he's, veins in the forearms. He's like wi- waving it around. He's yeah. like fuck you. And it's like yeah, that's really always fun. fun. Going to the sex shop with the boys is always funny. They had old DVDs and they yeah put add to cart twenty bucks. Um, twenty yeah, bucks. It wasn't is bad. It's a good. Silly Whoa, gift. let's yeah, look at the internals. Diagram, diagram. Look in the internals. Super sucker. Yeah, that's the one we got. School in, and school. dude, it went missing. Here, will you read the thing? The <laughs> iconic Doc Johnson pleasure product brand has always been an innovator. When founder and president Ron Braverman bought a small r- rubber's goods company and transformed it into a purveyor of marital aids, more than 40 years ago, his vision played a key role in establishing what would become today's adult novelty industry. Yeah, it sounds a uh, that's a lot of words for yeah. This guy bought a rubber company novelty. Bunch of- Made a bunch of pocket pussies. This guy fucked a rubber sock once and was like, I'm a genius. Have you guys seen the ones that are like molded at, out of porn stars like vaginas? Oh, yeah. We'll save that for the Patreon, guys. Yeah. We're going to look at, we're going to go to fleshlight.com on Patreon. Meet fleshlight. Just, <laughs> yeah. Scroll down. Let's look at the internals. Good God oh, Almighty. Oh, that actually Dude, looks pretty nice. That looks pretty pleasant. I know the world's falling to shit because, like, yeah, you used to have to go to Spencer's or a sex shop. Mm-hmm. Dude, I was at a I was at a CVS. When I first moved to Austin, yes. I bought the CVS pussy. Whoa. I bought the CVS pocket pussy. And they have ripped. pussies there. They have pocket, they have, they, but they're, like, genderless, like, just, it's just a tunnel. Ugh. I, I don't it. like I don't dude, like the genderless hole, dude. What's That's the medical weird. term for that? A jorker? <laughs> 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 yeah, um, I like to I, I go in a I go into CVS. Now this thing I do, every time I see it, I see it when I go to CVS, I, I uh, audibly go because you know a CVS is very padded, it's very insulated. Yeah. So like your voice kind of like it's like studio quality in there when you're talking in a yeah. CVS. Everything's padded, everything like the carpet's real thick. I'll be in like the condom section and I go. 
Oh no, they got the pocket pussies in CVS <laughs> now. Oh no, they got the rubber pussy in pocket. They got the pocket rubber pussy. They got the pocket. They got the poly pocket rubber pocket pussy in the CVS now. That's crazy. I say it super loud. All the yeah. employees are embarrassed that they work. <gasps> I used to. I used to give Bryce's Xanax here. Now we just pedal pocket pussies. <laughs> I used to get Bryce's Xanax. We uh. Did I tell you my sex store story once when I like went to go buy stuff? No. I was in New York with my uh, with my girlfriend, and we're in there, and we're like, we went in as like a goof, and then we started seeing stuff. Like, oh, I guess we'll buy stuff, and we're like, looking at these like straps. We're, the sex store is crazy. They have like fake people like that you can oh, fuck, no. like fake rubber people. That oh, nice. Are there that you can fuck, and we're like spanking them, having fun. <laughs> and then we're like, All right, we're, we're, like, we're gonna them. buy these straps. And we asked the girl, you have to like get them off the wall. And we asked the girl, like, hey, can we get these ones? She's like, those are nice, but for our beginners, we'd recommend this and pointed at another one. And I was like, really fucking offended. <laughs> she called you guys posers. She called us po- sex posers, dude. Yeah, you guys don't, you guys look like you don't fuck. She's so like, let's first go. First of all, y'all ain't freaks. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's for true. She tried to sell you the Weenie Hut Jr. straps. Yeah. She's like, those are the salty spittoon straps. Yeah. You're not ready for those. <laughs> You're not ready. I've seen people die on these those straps. Those will dislocate your hips. <laughs> yeah. you got to do Guillermo at the sex shop. <laughs> I, ain't so lame. <laughs> I would literally like a fake girl, please. <laughs> All right, so I'm like, bro, like for real, like, Something your speed, you're gonna want to go with like one of these entry level Johnnies, bro. You're gonna want to get like a Doc Johnson. I do not want a Johnny, I want a Jessica. No, I am get not. You a standard. We start you out with something like gay. simple, bro. Like, how are you with like you? You kind of stink, bro. So, like, you know, with these, you, you kind of want to have a level of personal hygiene. You're gonna want to wash every use. And I, I will not be washing it. <laughs> do you guys have one with a vagina and then a penis at the front of it? <laughs> Hey, bussy. Do you guys have a penis that I can fuck? Yeah, <laughs> do you guys, have a, a giant do you guys have a penis with a vagina inside of it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just want a flesh white that looks like a penis. <laughs> I want a flesh white that looks like a penis and goes inside of my ass. I want to put my penis inside of your wefer. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fulfill my fantasy of fucking a pee pee hole. Can you show me? She's going up to a sex store, like uh, someone that works there. Which one looks like your pussy? <laughs> Can no. you help me find a one that looks like yours? <laughs> I want to see one that goes to your pussy. <laughs> Do you have a mold of your pussy in the back? Where are we at on time? Uh, we have uh, eight more minutes. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. eight was, more minutes of flashlight talk. To, we could probably wrap on... Uh, I want to see some reviews of this. I want to see what people... Wait, what was that? Reviews. Other... Yeah, let's look at the reviews, dude. Who's publicly reviewing the uh, super jork, sucker? Jork to hold this. on, hold on. Let's look at the specs. Can we go to specs, please? 5.5 inches, too deep for me. Too deep. Too big. I think it stretches, though. It's too small. Travel friendly. Too big. Travel friendly. I well, wonder of course. You could just TSA put gonna have a problem with this. <laughs> You're gonna be like, excuse me, sir. That's crazy. No. Like she's holding it. She's holding it like the like the like a bass. Yeah. <laughs> she's like holding it like a thumb inside of it. <laughs> Dude, getting fucking... Oh, my God. So you can't have eight ounces of liquid, and you did not clean it. <laughs> Sir, there's there's semen inside they have this. There's semen on this. Plane. Boy, this thing full of skeet, boy. Stroker. The stroker. The stroker. Hold on. Where Ooh. are the reviews? Oh, What is that thing? Prince. That's Prince Pleasure Yashua. Machine. It's Prince Yashua. Is there reviews? Customer review. 3.8. Oh, whoa, 1,000 ratings. 1,200. Here we go. Holy shit. Indestructible. <laughs> <laughs> Five Cons. stars. Intense vanilla smell that I'll spread onto everything that comes into contact with. What, what a, a nightmare, nightmare this, this was. was. XD. <laughs> XD. XD is great. <laughs> XD, elder, elder internet user with the XD. That's so fucking funny. Half Intense. Mets. Uh, we got a five-star review from Half Man, Half Weasel. That's his username. Half Man, Half Weasel. Just in his goon Holy, cave. There's like a paragraph, too. I have also used a nylon Velcro ankle strap off one of my keyboard. Whoa. The, oh, trick, keyboard, the keyboard. trick is to add one or two elastic ponytail bands. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. I've done that. Life hack, really? Yeah, I've added. I, I, put, the, I put the cock ring on the exterior of a uh, fleshlight. Whoa. Take the fleshlight out, put a cock ring in halfway through, and you just hit the donut. Did you feel like a mad scientist? I did. I it's felt- alive! <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing like a welding thing. There's like sparks. <laughs> <laughs> it's alive! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
your roommates are like, you all right in hey, there? Man, you okay? You good? <laughs> yes, be gone. <laughs> He's doing some certified freaky science <laughs> in a there. Big, a big lever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just like, um, hey, dude, why do you keep checking the weather app? Uh, <laughs> nothing, man. I've just been, you know, waiting for a, a thunder and lightning. <laughs> the lightning rod is in place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with my roommate. He just keeps whispering, everything's going according to plan. <laughs> I like the end of that one there. They're like, uh, they're giving like health. Like the perfume smell so, slowly goes away. Make sure you shower after you say. Like, New, when new and wash your hands, dude. A so review happy with this purchase, a review from ten years ago. Wow, twenty fourteen. Where they are now, this person being able to smell the flashlight on you is pretty. Oh hilarious. god, I dude. Can, I like, and a girl recognizes yeah, a girl it. Knows, yeah. So is that a super sucker two thousand? <laughs> <laughs> a black lady. Yeah, this guy. He was real sweet, but he smelled like his pocket pussy. That motherfucker reeked of pocket pussy smell. You know that fake vanilla smell? <laughs> in the damn? Which I mean, I like vanilla, but, but like not pocket pussy. He is vanilla. certified. He is certified gooner for real. <laughs> that motherfucker be in there. Oh, it's all about the perfume. Like it, all uh, of those. Everyone's like super happy with the smell. Nah, bro, you don't want it. It gives you that vanilla smell. <laughs> bro, my wiener smells like extract. Yeah, this is super crazy. Sucker, oh, oh wait, one whoa. star, one star. It's okay. I have a larger penis, so it's <laughs> harder. I have a larger penis, so it's really hard for me to find toys and products that I can use. This one literally is really tight too. Imagine, ugh, not, not enjoyable. enjoyable. Imagine having such a huge cock that you have to bitch about. Well, this one, the light flex, contradictory in the bottom, works well with girth, stretches to fit, lots of fun. <laughs> Easy to clean and lots of Ew, fun. With I'm the, reading the all these with a friend. Ew. Ew. I'm reading boy. all of these internally as Patrick Bateman. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was in Spanish. <laughs> Easy to clean. Lots of fun alone. Wow. With a friend. Wow. Look at, look at bait. Look at a, uh, look at Alan's flashlight. <laughs> that light peach tone. <laughs> the way that the light bounces off the lips. Alan's flashlight smells like vanilla. <laughs> Mine does not have a vanilla smell. My pocket pussy. Eggshell with embossed font in the case. <laughs> Alan has the Super Sucker 2000. I have the older model, the Super Sucker 1000. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Look at Jeremy. He has the stamina training unit from Fleshlight <laughs> with its gold case and ribbed in internals. God. I can almost, I can almost taste it. Yeah. <laughs> what? It drops the flesh. <laughs> He's just... Oh. Yeah. Very good, but uh, end quality. <laughs> yeah, uh, two star. Boff. I mean, what does boff mean? Boff. Les saisons sont sick. It's a French dude jerking it. I like the drug of my penis. <laughs> <laughs> this, the Doc Johnson is not good for my French I penis. Like this. Of course, his fucking stinky, uncircumcised dick. He oh, the hates rock. It. The rock. Con the oh. rock con I'm going to read one in Indian accent. Perfect. Find one for me to read in oh, Indian. The perfect one. This uh -oh. baby is very durable and well built. It will not break on you unless you do crazy things with it like I have. And it still <laughs> hasn't a scratch. Pros. Durable. Has gentle, sensual feeling and texture. Great for practice on increasing your sensitivity awareness. Sensitivity Read more. Sensitivity awareness. Read more. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Guns. Intense vanilla smell that'll spread onto everything it comes in contact with. Which, you know, it doesn't mind. Everything in my house smells like shit. <laughs> it's Indian. Feels like a, it feels more of like a throat than a mouth to me. But that is a personal plus for me. What a freak. <laughs> Which that is a personal plus. <laughs> I like to I like I like the idea of Indian dudes reviewing yeah. lights on it Amazon. Very, very good. Very, very cheap. Very, very cheap. Very, very good. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. One pound flesh light. Very, very good. Very, very tight. Smells like vanilla. I fuck it all night. He goes into depth about his penis there. Although the texture and feeling is very sensual, many may not be used to this as most other toys are tight and or rough textured. Inversely, this tool is kind of wide but still feels good. And my phallus has barely any girth. About and my phallus inches. has barely any girth. <laughs> my phallus. Barely any girth is crazy. Barely any girth is crazy. And like like if your dick inches. was this thick. If your dick was this old Sharpie dick. Very, very good. I would kill myself. Very, very poop. 
Well, guys, if uh, we're going to head over to Fleshlight.com, but only Fleshlight. on the Patreon. Uh, Captain, do you have anything that you want to promote to the freebie GBs out there on YouTube? Uh, just my fucking YouTube. It's Captain Wright with a W-R-I-G-H-T, and my Instagram is the same. Captain Wright, W-R-I-G-H-T. Hell yeah. Uh, guys, you can all also follow me at Chinky Sweat. If you don't already, um, also, uh, guys, consider subbing to the Patreon. It's a very fun, silly, good time over there. We got multiple tiers. We got one, five, ten, twenty, whatever you want. We got guys. I have an Australian Patreon. Whoa. I have, a, I have a boys in Australia. And, I uh, love that Chinese fella. Yeah. He's funny. $10 USD, sixteen fifty AUD. <laughs> it's a fucking horrible conversion rate. Yeah, they're, it's they're expensive for them. They have to spend insane. sixteen dollars to get ten dollars of me. I like this Australian guy who buys Pokemon cards, and it was fucking crazy. Yeah. He's like, he's like, oh, I spent fifteen dollars on this pack, and I'm it's like, like a one booster for fifteen yeah. bucks is crazy. Like, yes, you're, seven I'm, bucks. Yeah, but uh, yeah, guys. Uh, also, we haven't gotten any fan mail on the Gmail. It's getting kind of dry. Gmail kind of mm. dry. Gmail kind of lonely. You guys, send, send us a, send us some fan mail. Email. Be a part of the show. Contribute to the R three podcast via Radio Ridley Radio at Gmail gmail.com shoot us an email ask us questions you know taylor i'll answer questions uh for taylor uh, you guys ask taylor questions and i'll answer them for him no 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 let me do this i got it i got it you just stand over there on the ones and twos and you know what whatever go you tits. stay over there put the square in the square hole i don't know i don't understand any of that shit over there it's all <laughs> complicated technology it's like giant buttons he's like big lit up buttons i'm like i don't know um what else should I do? Am like I missing? And subscribe. Oh yeah, guys, like and subscribe, please, and comment too. It helps us. Uh, I would love to break 1K subs by the end of the year. It's not possible. Uh, I don't. Th I think it's possible, it's but so I don't think possible. it's likely. It's likely. I don't think it's likely. You guys aren't helping the algo. Uh, there's about a hundred people watching, guys. I get about a hundred viewers. If I could get a, if everyone who views, just please like. Everyone who watches, please comment. Everyone who hasn't. If you're watching this show on a weekly basis and you're not subscribed, I'm very, very upset with you. I'm, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not that mad, but I could really use it. Uh, and please consider, you know, sharing and sending with your friends. And if you want, uh, put some timestamps down there. If you thought something was funny, timestamp it up. Remind me, because I watch all this stuff. I rewatch every fucking episode, and I do the timestamps. So if you guys put a timestamp in there, that could probably help me out. Uh, again, uh, Radio Ridley Radio on Patreon. We'll see you guys over there. Love you. Bye-bye.